And today I'm going to be doing a song for the laws of leadership. Like and subscribe. But I also want you to know that I forgive being a good person I continued and that you like to fight battle. If you decide to work against me, I could just have to be on opposite sides. And because you have so much influence, I know you will most of the, win most of the time, at least in the beginning. But I'm going to develop relationships with people and draw new people to this church. This church will grow and someday I'll have a greater influence than you. But I don't want to battle you, I confided. You're 65 years old right now. Let's say you've got another 10 to 15 years of good health and productivity ahead of you. If you want, you can make these years your very best and make your life count. We can do a lot of great things together at this church, I summed up, but the decision is yours. When I finished, Jim didn't say a word. He got up from his seat, walked into the hall, and stopped to take a drink out at the water fountain. I followed him out and waited. I didn't know whether he was going to dress me down, declare war, or tell me to take a hike. After a long time, Jim stood up straight and turned around. When he did, I could see the tears rolling down his cheeks. Then he gave me a great big bear hug and said, You can count it on me to be on your side and jim did get on my side as it turned out he didn't live with another 10 years and he was willing to help me a young kid with a vision we accomplished many positive things together but it never would have happened if i didn't have the courage to try to make a connection with him the first day in my office so basically like jim was on his side but it wouldn't have happened if he didn't like talk to him on the first day and like explain it to him and so, Asset Kids is a book on how kids can help their parents and be assets. And a part of the description is a book on how my mom got their 50 apartments. And they're both on Amazon, so yeah. Alright, bye!